snug as a bug in a rug. Boop. Snug as a bug in a rug. I'm tired. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. My background looks a little bit different. I felt like ch shaking it up a little bit today, doing something just a little bit different. The lighting's not the best, but I think it's cozy. It feels cozy. I've got this big, fluffy blanket. It's so cozy. Nighttime skin routine. Nighttime skincare is all done. Looking very dewy. Got the hair up. It's late at night, and by late at night, I mean I'm an old lady, and it is currently 7.03. <laughs> uh, I work early, so I, I get up pretty early. So this is just a little bit late for me. But you know what? I thought it'd be fun to do like a nice cozy rainy day edition of Weekly Wow. So if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all the new beauty releases and see it on Trend Mood's Instagram page and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you like this kind of different cozy setting, let me know down below as well. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Normally I start these with just like a little bit of an update about what I've picked up since the last one, but we recently had Black Friday and Cyber Monday and I've actually picked up a lot, a lot of new products. So I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a haul once everything actually comes in because I've bought a little bit from everywhere. I did a Sephora order. I did an Ulta order. I did some orders from BH Cosmetics. I did an order from e.l.f. I, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that haul, but I have to wait until everything actually gets here because with all these different sites, everyone has different shipping. So I don't know when everything's actually gonna come, but keep your eyes out for that haul when it does come out. So the new cake, okay, I should scoot, right? So the new KKW and Kylie Cosmetics collab was premiered, released, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, it, it looks boring. But everything that's coming from KKW just looks boring to me, so... Nah. Okay, so this sneak peek from Becca has kind of got me going, huh. Because it looks like a highlighting palette. It looks like it's going to be, like, lunar year themed. But do you see that really, really dark highlight right next to that really, really light highlight? That bugs me. Like, whenever I see shades that are so close together that should not be close together. Uh, 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 no. Because then you mix them together and maybe you get a nice color, maybe you don't, and then you just ruin the whole compact and... Uh, no. That bugs me. I can't. So this is actually a new collab from Buxom Cosmetics. This is with Shea Mitchell and it's called the Cream... Oh. You lost me a cream highlighter. It's called the Divine Goddess Cream Highlighter Palette, and, uh... <sighs> I can kind of get behind cream contour, cream blush. It's, uh, I don't know. I just, I never see a cream highlighter. Like, I can see maybe a liquid highlighter, but a cream highlighter? I don't know. I don't know. Marc Jacobs is coming out with a new Leopard Frost collection. And I just, can I just say, I like, hate, like, animal print packaging. It, it's just not for me. I'm not a huge fan, and I don't like the way that the palette looks, and then the, the shades themselves are just fairly basic. But this is, for the most part, that's what you're getting out of these Marc Jacobs palettes, like the one that I'm panning right now. Very basic color schemes. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not my current cup of tea. Okay, so I don't know if I ever actually addressed the first version of this that came out, but this stupid glow job face mask. Not only is it pretty gross, right? I mean, I'm not a prude by any stretch of the imagination, but why would I want to look like I've got that on my face when I don't? right? And not only is it a shitty name, it's a shitty product, because it's a glitter-infused 
face mask. It has nothing that's actually good for your skin in here. So it's a shitty insinuation, it's a shitty name, and it's a shitty product. Why would you want this? Oh, and it's $42. They have the audacity to charge $42 for this crap. So Jeffree Star is coming out with another highlighter palette, and this one is from the Supreme Frost formula. God, I can't speak. The Supreme Frost formula. I've watched a lot of reviews on it, and it's caught in, like, the, from the videos that I've seen, the reviews have been really mixed. I think it's a good idea for him, like, brand-wise, to come out with a palette of those, but I'm not gonna jump in. I have two of his regular, like, Supreme Frost, and I'm good with those. Like, I'm, I'm okay. I don't need any more. I could highlight it till I'm 80 and be good, but, like, I'm not gonna go out on a limb for that formula. I did get the Alien palette. I finally tried it. I've only tried it once, though, so I need to do a few more looks with it, test it out, swatch it to oblivion, and then a video will be coming. I really want to do a two looks on a palette and a full review, but I need time to test it out. I hope you guys can't hear those sirens. Sorry. <laughs> But this is actually, it looks like the little mini Fix Plus kit that's going to be available at Ulta, which I'm probably going to get because I love this mini kit. This is the mini Fix Plus kit, and it comes in rose, lavender, and coconut. Not 100% a fan of coconut, but I like Fix Plus, and I love these little minis. And <laughs> does anyone else have this problem where your hands are like so small that like using a full-size bottle of Fix Plus is hard? No? just me. I'm just tiny and have weird hands. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> I just like these mini bottles and the last ones, I still have one of them that I had last year because I just kept opening it up and just pouring in more Fix Plus because I just liked the mini bottles. Mini bottles work better for my hands. I like them and they're easier to store. So this is a great little kit. It's $24 and it looks like this packaging, the little clear one, is going to be at Ulta and I really want to pick it up. So, Lisa Eldridge, she is like this huge, if you don't know who she is, she's a huge makeup artist. She does a lot of work with celebrities and for magazines and is all over the place. And she also, she's on YouTube, I watch a few of her videos, her voice is like so calming. Ah, beautiful voice. But she just came out with her own, like, makeup line and I think she's just starting with lipstick. And they look beautiful. She's got like three shades, I believe, out. Yes, and they're all like orangey reds, and they look fairly universal. The only thing is that it's definitely based out of Europe or the UK, and they're 26 pounds each. I'm not sure- my battery is about to die. I'm not sure if I would be able to get these or one of them without having to pay a crazy shipping, but they look really cute and I'm interested. Okay guys, and we're back. Battery died in the camera. My laptop almost died, my foot fell asleep, I just, I don't know what it is, I, I'm just not good at filming at night. I'm just not. <laughs> so Colourpop came out with this, this that nobody needs because nobody's ever going to get enough use out of all of these before they dry out. It's a gigantic Super Shock Shadow Vault. Now once upon a time I would have been so excited for this and I would have just seriously considered it. But I know no one can live, like, realistically, you can't have more than, like, five of these if you're actually using them regularly before they dry out. They dry out so quickly, even when, like, you close them all the way and everything's done right. See, I look at this now and I just see, like, whew, you're gonna pay $100 and all of this is gonna dry out, like, so fast. Just pick out one or two shades that you really like and use them. So I first saw this. Moschino doing a collab with Tony Moly and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Maybe we'll get some little skincare things. Maybe there'll be some cute little masks. Maybe we'll have this. And then I looked at the products and then I saw the prices. The cheek tints are $25. The... Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palettes, which I don't even know how big they are, are $79. I see them now. They're eight pans, little itty bitty little things. $79. Excuse me. And then the other eyeshadow palettes that look like phone cases, those are $60. 
you know, I can take my old busted phone case and throw some singles in there if anyone wants to buy a $60 iPhone palette. They're coming out with a face cream, $39. They're coming out with a cushion foundation, $59. And it comes in two shades. It's, uh, no. This is something where I saw the pictures and I was like, ooh, and then I read the description and I was like, oh no. Not a chance. This is actually another mini spray kit that I really want to get. This is from Mario Badescu. This is going to be at Ulta. It's a mini three set of the face sprays. There's the um, aloe, herbs, and rose water, aloe, cucumber, and green tea, and aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I tried one of these at the Ulta um, when I was there a few months ago, and it's just a really nice, refreshing spray. I'm not sure if it's actually like along the lines of a Fix Plus, or if it's supposed to just be like a face spray. So because of that, honestly, I just have held back because I really don't know what you're supposed to use it for. <laughs> but I, I will try it out for that little mini kit because it's only $12 and you get three of the minis. Like, even if it is just like, like kind of like a nighttime skincare essence or something, I think that'd be nice. That'd be a nice little splurge for $12, right? <laughs> it's cute. God, you're gonna see like you can see like how big my bags are under my eyes whenever I smile. So Huda Beauty is coming out with a whole line of bullet lipsticks and uh, meh. They just kind of just meh. As even as someone who is just barely into bullet lipsticks, meh, meh. So is the intention of this display to look like a really cheapy? like sex store that's trying too hard this looks like if a sex store had like a dollar section right <sighs> i saw this and i just went whoo shiny it's from linda hallberg cosmetics this is a uh, metallic mysteries 2. see this is something that like i would love to look at but i probably would never use they're just all shimmers i have shimmers in these colors but I just saw this picture and I just went, ooh, like a little, like a bug drawn to the light. It's so shiny. This is so cool. Storybook Cosmetics is now at Ulta. I still think they're a bit overpriced. I would have liked to see a little bit of a price drop once they hit Ulta, but they haven't. But I really want to swatch these for myself. And if anything, I would really be interested in the Harry Potter one because I love harry potter even though i've kind of stopped myself after the last movie because i feel like the spin-offs are a little bit crazy i'm like the only person who doesn't doesn't like the spin-offs and i haven't really been giving them a chance my best friend's the only one who can make me watch them and when i visit her in december she's gonna make me watch fantastic beasts and she's the only one who can get me to watch it because she's my best friend and i love her but that being said, I still do love Harry Potter, and when this Harry Potter palette came out, I was a little bit obsessed, but I was like $55, and then I think it was like crazy shipping on top of it, and I was like, uh, I don't know. But it's an Ulta now, so I definitely want to check it out for myself. I want to swatch, I want to look at it, I want to sniff it, and then I'll make my decision. So BH Cosmetics just dropped this behemoth of a palette. This thing is gigantic, and they were teasing it with swatches of like three or four colors, and I thought it was going to be kind of like an all matte version of the Zodiac palette, or maybe like a mini Zodiac. I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't this. This looks like a Morphe palette. There's just way too many shades in here. Oh, I, I know I would never touch this, and I feel like it doesn't know what kind of color story it wants to be. I don't know. I mean, the swatches look uh, gorgeous. They look amazing. But when would I use this? Is anyone on this green earth surprised that ColourPop has not only a new collection, but a new collab? You know, I, I really wonder like what it's like in like A, the ColourPop factory and B, like the ColourPop boardroom. Could you imagine? Do they like take weekends ever? Do they just live in the office, constantly churning out collabs and everything? You know what? Bravo. They've got a work ethic. They are grinding. They are doing it. But still, 
we don't need new makeup every two weeks <laughs> from the same brand. Oh my god. The reason I can do this video weekly is probably because of ColourPop. <laughs> anyway, the new collab is with... I have no idea who this is. I'm so sorry. Becky G. And I, I gotta say, the palette... Come on. Cover up that one blue. not interested i think the packaging is gorgeous like i mean i think for all these collabs they're just kind of recycling the same palette and they're just throwing new packaging on there that's i mean they gotta get it done somehow and looks like they i can't tell if those are highlighters or if they are oh it's, it's another loose highlighter yeah no they're coming out ultra matte lips also a no yeah just mm. you know i wouldn't mind waiting longer for a color pop release if they did something different Anything? Please? Okay guys, and we're gonna leave it at that for now. I hope you guys liked this video. Something I really want to do. Let me know your thoughts on this. I tend to get most of my makeup news from... A tr Excuse you, truck. I tend to get most of my makeup news from Trend Mood. I feel like she's kind of the like authority of Instagram news, whatever, for makeup. But I really want to get more into indie makeup. I'm wondering, would you guys be interested in seeing me incorporate some other like makeup news outlets like the one that i've found that i've been following recently is indie makeup spotlight i'll throw it up right here and it's just kind of basically the trend mood but for indie makeup so if you guys would like to see me also go through these make these videos a little bit longer i think that'd be a little bit more fun to go through those as well let me know in the comments if you do want to see that and if you do let me know if any other instagram people that you follow that do more indie focused like news stories because I would really like to get more into that kind of indie world. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Bye.